So now let us start with the chapter. Now I said I'll be doing the chapter in a different way. Now I'll first give you a link about how to remember the chapter. Now basically in this chapter I said it's made composed of we're going to study about nitro compounds, uh, you're going to study about amines and we're going to study about cyano. So always remember whenever you are given a nitro compound, nitro is first converted to amines. Amines is then converted to cyano compounds. Remember this. And cyano further you can. So this is your sequence. Always remember. How should I go about this? Now first, let us prepare nitro compound. How am I preparing nitro compound? Suppose if I have, if I'm going to take <coughs> CH3, uh, CH2Br. Okay. If you, this is your alkyl, hello alkyl. So instead of CH3, CH2Br, I am writing as RBr. Not a problem, isn't it? Now to this RBr, I am going to introduce silver nitrate, right? So here, important, why are we adding silver nitrate? Because silver nitrate is going to come out as a precipitate, AgBr, where we have studied in grade 10, it is used in the photographic technique, isn't it? So silver nitrate basically is going to come out, a precipitate is AgBr, but important, this condition or the solvent, you should be alcoholic. Done. Now, first important thing, Ag and Br comes out. So, what do you get? Ag, Br as a precipitate. What is left? Now, here NO2. Now, see, I have prepared NO2. Yes, simple. Now, after preparing NO2, now I have to prepare amines. Simple. Now, what is amine formula? Amine is RNH2. Okay. Now, how is this prepared? What is the difference here? This also R, this is also R. This is nitrogen, this is nitrogen, but extra is hydrogen. So, what made, uh, from where did this uh, get hydrogen? Yes. Removal of oxygen and addition of hydrogen. What is that process called? Reduction. So, what is going to perform that reduction process? Reducing agents will get that thing. So, I am going to add a reducing agent like SN plus HCl, metal acid we call it. We call it as metal acid. It can be Fe plus HCl also. So, SN plus HCl, metal acid. Fe plus HCl, metal acid. I am going to add this. When you are adding this, see here. O, oxygen is removed and your hydrogen is added. Got it. Simple. So, most important thing, this. Whenever you see this in the paper, that means the examiner wants you to add hydrogen and remove oxygen from that. Because it is a reducing agent. Done. Now, from amine, I have to convert into cyano. So, what is cyano? Cyano is RCN. No, it can't, uh, we can't directly convert the cyano. See what is the procedure. First important thing, R in which there are two ways. One, I can get it from amine. One, I can get from RBR also. Yes. So, when I have to get it from amine, I have to use a list of steps. Yes, important. Now, for that step, first thing which you are going to do is, first always, amines cannot be directly converted to cyano. We are going to first <coughs> use nitrogen nitrous acid remember what is this nitrous acid the role it is used as a reprotonation agent it is a reprotonation means it's going to add a proton <coughs> along with that OH group in that so what does this do this is going to convert yes your amine group into an alcoholic group right R <coughs> OH I get an alcoholic group reprotonation is adding that now from this alcoholic one you have got alcohol important thing you have to convert it into <coughs> iodo compounds first so what what am i going to do i'm going to add phosphorus in the presence of iodine when i add phosphorus in the presence of iodine this is going to become ri now further since still it's not complete then i'm going to introduce kcn to this yes so alcoholic kcn when I am adding C into this, look here, this is your I mi C minus, this is your I minus, I is <coughs> replaced by this cyano, I get R C N. This is how I prepare cyano group. Now one more option, easiest ma'am, I can't remember so much. So R B R, if you treat with K C N, alcoholic also, your C N, your C N gets in, your B R is out. So you get R C N plus KBR. This is also one procedure. So why am I teaching this? Because when they ask you to convert 
alkyl bromide to cyano compounds this is one conversion if they are asking you to convert nitro uh, nitro alkane to nitro cyano alkane this is one conversion so when you learn such type of uh, things you know at a stretch it's easy so now what should you do please practice this write in your books <coughs> clearly practice this more number of times what concept should you remember nitro to amines amines then after that amines can't directly be converted it will go to this step these steps then finally form